All right, everybody. So today we're going to be doing another comparison video. This one is going to be the Midland WR 300 versus the Midland WR 400. So here we go. So this is so on the left is the WR 300. On the right is the WR 400. So uh, yeah, this is what the WR 300 looks like. Nice classic blue backlight and stuff like that. You know. Um, and the 400 is way different. Just look at this screen display. And, um, yeah. And, see the, the different, see the WR300 has an end time display, while the WR400 does not. Um, so yeah, and the button beeps are different too. Let me just, I'm gonna turn them on. Yeah, this is the 400's beeps. And this is the 300. Yeah, re, de, um, the, the 400 is higher pitched, while the 300 is classic button beep, stuff like that, you know. Um, the siren is slightly different. The 400 is higher, slightly higher than the 300. Um, so, yeah. So... Yeah, and they both have AM and FM and stuff like that, you know. All businesses and the hard-working employees who... economic impact of these locally owned companies is dramatic. Even sales tax included. And, and the way to turn off NOAA compared to the Denver 300... See, all you have to do is just do the whole volume thing all the way, you know. 40 and 45 degrees. Um, while the 400, you have to hold the weather snooze button. So, um, yeah. And also, another difference is that, um, instead of having menu select, there is a menu and a brightness feature. So, um, yeah. Um... And also, the Midland logo is up the top, while the Midland logo is on the bottom, um, below the thing. So, uh, yeah, there's that as well. And also, um, the screen display, despite being the same, they also, they, um, the screen display compared to the 300 and 400, the 400 has a big clock and a, the Noah thing and stuff like that, while the 300 has a date and clock and everything else. And all county codes and stuff like that. And instead of having warning watch and advisory up top like the 400 has, the 300 has warning watch and advisory on the side. So there's there's another difference as well. Um, so, uh, yeah. Um, not much else to say. Um, the reception, the, the speaker quality on these two radios are definitely different. This is the 300s. The widespread hazardous weather. And now the extended outlook for the people. And here's the 400. Please listen to Miller Weather Radio or go to weather.gov. Yeah, um, the 300 sounds a lot more like... It, it, the 300 and 400 definitely sounds slightly different in speaker quality. So, um, yeah, but... And also, the way that you have... And also, another thing is that... The 300 does not have, like, an option to have... Oh, my goodness. Dude, that 74200 scared me. Um, the way to put it on display mode... Um, because, look, look, you can't... You can't put it on display mode. You have to hold down the alert on-off thing, and you still have to hold it. And, see? Alert on, alert off... That's how you put on display mode. Well, on the 400, you could just simply go to alert type and go display, tone, or voice. And yeah. And also, the 300 does not have a saving thing like the 400 just did right there. Kind of like the WR120. So, yeah. Um, another thing is that the 400 has a USB charger, while the 300 has absolutely nothing. So, um, yeah, but anyways, 
Um, yeah, I think I think I've covered everything on the WR300 and 400. Um, the speaker grills, they're exactly the same place. Maybe slightly tiny bigger holes a little bit tinier than the 300, I guess. So, yeah. But other than that, I think that should wrap up the video and all the features. Um, well, I guess the... I guess on the 300 and 400, there's not an enter button like the 400 does. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's one difference, I guess. So, yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's basically about it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one.